Hi friends, welcome to Mech Plaza. Thanks for your regular support. Today we are going to talk about what is centrifugal pump and how centrifugal pump works. Let's see what is centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pumps are a subclass of dynamic axis symmetric work absorbing turbine machinery. Centrifugal pumps are used to transport fluids by the conversion of rotational kinetic energy to the hydrodynamic energy of the fluid flow. The rotational energy typically comes from an engine or electric motor. The fluid enters the pump impeller along or near to the rotating axis and is accelerated by the impeller, flowing radially outward into a diffuser or volute chamber, casing, from where it exits. How Centrifugal Pump Works like most pumps, a centrifugal pump converts rotational energy, often from a motor, to energy in a moving fluid. A portion of the energy goes into kinetic energy of the fluid. Fluid enters axially through eye of the casing, is caught up in the impeller blades, and is whirled tangentially and radially outward until it leaves through all circumferential parts of the impeller into the diffuser part of the casing. The fluid gains both velocity and pressure while passing through the impeller. The donut-shaped diffuser, or scroll, section of the casing decelerates the flow and further increases the pressure. What is multistage centrifugal pumps? A centrifugal pump containing two or more impellers is called a multistage centrifugal pump. The impellers may be mounted on the same shaft or on different shafts. At each stage, the fluid is directed to the center before making its way to the discharge on the outer diameter. For higher pressures at the outlet, impellers can be connected in series. For higher flow output, impellers can be connected in parallel. Let's see what other problems may happen in centrifugal pumps. These are some difficulties faced in centrifugal pumps. 1. Cavitation, the net positive suction head. NPSH, of the system is too low for the selected pump. 2. Wear of the impeller, can be worsened by suspended solids. 3. Corrosion inside the pump caused by the fluid properties. Overheating due to low flow. 4. Leakage along rotating shaft. 5. Lack of prime, centrifugal pumps must be filled, with the fluid to be pumped, in order to operate. 6. Surge. What is self-priming centrifugal pump? In normal conditions, common centrifugal pumps are unable to evacuate the air from an inlet line leading to a fluid level whose geodetic altitude is below that of the pump. Self-priming pumps have to be capable of evacuating air, see venting, from the pump suction line without any external auxiliary devices. Centrifugal pumps with an internal suction stage such as water jet pumps or side channel pumps are also classified as self-priming pumps. Centrifugal pumps which are not designed with an internal or external self-priming stage can only start to pump the fluid after the pump has initially been primed with the fluid. Sturdier but slower, their impellers are designed to move water which is far denser than air leaving them unable to operate when air is present. In addition, a suction side swing check valve or a vent valve must be fitted to prevent any siphon action and ensure that the fluid remains in the casing when the pump has been stopped. In self-priming centrifugal pumps with the separation chamber the fluid pumped and the entrain air bubbles are pumped into the separation chamber by the impeller action. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more videos.